What do you think women struggle the most with in dating today? I think, I think the fact of like, I guess with dating apps, there's so many options. And I think that's mm. one of the things that people struggle with in general is like, oh, oh, but there's so many options. And I think because, because of dating apps, there's just so much, I don't know, people have become really choosy now, like to the point where it's just ridiculous. Like, and they won't date anyone below six foot. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Like really ridiculous. And it's just like because there's so much you feel like you've got so many options when really you don't actually have many options, I guess. So, what do you yeah. mean? I don't disagree with you, but what do you mean? Well, I think because you go on a dating app and you're like, Oh wow, I've matched all these different guys. Oh my god, I've got so many options. But it doesn't mean those guys are all gonna be interested in you like do you know what i mean like, like not a long term and also you know when you message someone on a dating app sometimes you message them and then they disappear and ghost you and you don't speak to them again it doesn't mean you've yeah. got this big choice of men yeah. it's just because they a lot of those could drop off anyway so yeah yeah, yeah that's think, so true yeah paradox of choice yeah exactly paradox of choice mm. it makes you feel like you've got a lot of choice when you do you do because you're on a dating app but i mean Mm. it doesn't mean you can yeah that's yeah okay i hear that yeah i'm trying to figure that. out what i'm saying but yeah, yeah. I hear that. um how often did you use dating apps before meeting your boyfriend quite a lot actually i mean i used hinge well that was the main one i used yeah. yeah yeah but um also i was a bit guilty of like the whole going on a dating app kind of getting some nice compliments feeling good about myself and then never actually meeting up with any of these people because <laughs> oh, like it is hey, like you said it's a bit it's, 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 it is validated it makes you feel good about yourself if you're feeling a bit low and i don't know you're getting lots of like nice messages on a dating app yeah it gives you self-confidence makes you feel better about yourself but mm. yeah I, I i was guilty of sometimes just not actually meeting up with any of them and just kind of using it as a oh this is making me feel good about myself so yeah, yeah. Mm. what would it take for a guy to catch your eye on, on a dating app it was more the co yeah the conversation and just the opening amount of times hey how are you but like come on like you've got to come up with some sort of better like one line or something yeah. and it's like even if they were really hot and really good looking yeah even that's just not enough to just say oh hey how are you like i'm gonna use, i'm gonna lose interest like already so i think it was more like the opening line and the conversation and you know actually asking me some like interesting questions about myself and and i find them interesting that was yeah did you ever use bumble i I did use Bumble as well, but yeah, mainly Hinge, to be honest with you. So, How was yeah. Bumble? Because obviously the girl has to make the first move. Yeah, I quite liked that. I actually thought that was like a good a good way of like, yeah, yeah. putting yourself out there and stuff. Did so. you have like an opener you would use with guys? Or um, what would you say on the first line? What was I saying on my like kind of opening? I don't know, because this is the thing. I have so many good opening lines for stand up, <laughs> but they're all too sexual. And it's like, I couldn't use that on a, sure. on a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, but it could give. But it could idea. go really wrong. Oh, I think I said one of them was like, but it was a bit savage. But I also thought it was really funny. I had something like, "Are you a New Year's resolution?" Because I plan on doing you for the first few weeks of January, and then forgetting <laughs> about you for the rest of the year. Oh my god, is that that's a bit? Hilarious. And then I put at the end, "Is that a bit too much?" <laughs> You guys would love that. But I thought that's quite fun. Again, it's funny. It's that is funny. Yeah, and if you take that too seriously, then you're not the sort of person I'd want to date anyway. So. Do you think that line would work with girls? Um, no, girls would probably get super offended by that. They'd be like, wouldn't they? They'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But it's funny. It is funny. It is funny. Yeah. What do you think is a, um, what do you think is a double standard that we... Would you say, is there any double standards you'd say you'd have in your relationship? You don't have to disclose if you don't want to, but mm. something that you're like, okay, this is fine for me, but not okay for you. Or something that, oh, this is fine for him, but not okay for me. This is fine. Not, not really, if I'm honest with you. We're yeah. quite on par with yeah. things. It's like if, again, back to sort of the pictures, if he wanted to post a photo of him topless on a beach on holiday, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, he's showing off his body. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, well, cause I'm doing the same. So, sure. and also a lot of these photos we've taken together and you know, so it doesn't feel, so I don't think, yeah, we're quite on par. I would yeah. say with things like that. We don't really have, yeah, anything like that. I'd say. Mm. Would you say like, um, in regards to like male and female friends for both of you, like, would you say it's pretty much the same as well? 
Yeah, I mean, I don't actually have many male friends, to be honest. I mean, I have okay. a few, but more female friends. And then he's a bit more broad. He's got a few female friends, a few mm. male friends. But I think it's, yeah, I think there's just like a level of trust there. Obviously, course, if it was like yeah. a female friend that you kept going on about all the time, <laughs> you do get that like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> would that be... Would you that, do get that thing in the back of your head. Bit, would it be but. worse if you didn't tell you about a female friend and then you suddenly met her and you're like, oh, he's like, oh yeah, we're really close. You're like, yeah, I've never I think heard that would about be, this that, person. Yeah, that would be a lot worse, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be a lot worse. But I yeah. definitely think girls do get a bit when a guy's going on about a certain girl all the time and like, oh she's so funny yeah she's so cool it does get a bit like, okay this is getting annoying. i mean guess saying that <laughs> this, to you she's this... so funny and you're the comedian yeah you're yeah, like, who's, oh, this yeah funny like, who's this fucking bitch <laughs> 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 why is she so funny <laughs> so, i'm yeah. the funny girl in your life yeah don't yeah. you forget yeah. it <laughs> yeah exactly yeah that's cute mm. um you say you don't have that many male friends has that always been the case did you have male friends before or not I mean, I do have, but more ones I've met through like comedy and things like that. So yeah. not, um, but yeah, more just female friends, really. I'd like more male friends, mm. but I think, don't know. I just haven't really had many male friends like kind of developing my career and like going about what I do. So yeah. yeah. Mm, I, uh, I only ask this because I know it's something that many girls experience, mm. but they find that they'll have like male friends and then they get into a relationship and some of those male friends just drop off. Did you ever experience that? No, because I didn't really have many male friends in the first place. Oh, you didn't place. have any? No, enough. no. So I didn't really drop off to be honest with you. I just didn't really exist before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, more female friends. I'm kind of surprised because yeah. you know, because you do comedy and stuff. Most guys would be like, oh, it should be so cool to like hang around. Yeah. I mean, I've had, again, like some some male friend but then also like a lot of um i mean like my ex-boyfriend he was a stand-up comedian so yeah. i kind of like sort of stayed away from <laughs> kind of comedy i don't know yeah would you not date a, i mean you're in a happy relationship yeah. but would you after that were you like i'm not dating a male comedian after yeah that? no i didn't want to date a comedian again. really no. i think it's because you're in the same industry and it's like a lot of it, there was quite a lot of like competitive energy and i didn't okay. really like that i think it's nice sort of dating someone who's like not um in different industries but can understand what you do and is interested in what you do but i think it's yeah. a bit more interesting sometimes dating someone who's not like completely no i in agree the same industry as you, i think yeah. sometimes it definitely can be difficult when you date someone outside your industry for them to understand it mm. you know because we talked we talked about mm. you know we both trained as actors and stuff and yeah you know in the theater world it's very different to someone who doesn't know it yeah um and you know they can be like you know if you have to be really intimate with someone on stage oh my gosh you're like kissing this other person Ooh, eight times fuck? a week yeah, like, yeah. what's going on here yeah. or, you know you have to be charming in those environments to network and build yeah, relationships and stuff like yeah. that and they can misconstrue charm yeah. for opportunity yeah I think what I really liked about me my boyfriend is because he works with comedians because okay, they come yeah. you know to his venue and stuff so we sort of got it because he'd met a lot of other female comedians and stuff because yeah. he's kind of worked with them so he was almost like the behind the scenes yeah. sort of person so he he did get it because he'd met other comedians and seen you know stuff like that so yeah yeah that's mm. awesome yeah um in a relationship sometimes we have to make compromises to make it work mm. for the benefit of the relationship what would you say is a compromise you had to make for yours to make it great um, I guess the tr the traveling and the logistics of it, I think, mm. was quite a big thing because um, he's in Croydon and I'm yeah. in Hertfordshire. So it's about almost two hours um, journey yeah. back and forth and stuff. But again, like for me, travel's never really been an issue because yeah, I travel into London all the time for jobs, acting yeah. jobs, comedy jobs. I'm just jumping around here and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I don't yeah. really see that as like a big deal. But to some people, that would be a compromise and that would be like, oh... I'm doing the traveling, the back sure. and forth. And some people see that, like whenever I tell people, oh yeah, he's Freud, and they're like, oh my God, that's so far. Like, yeah. how are you doing that and stuff? And I'm just like, well, if you, you know, yeah. you love someone and you, you know, you enjoy your time together, then yeah. I don't really see travel as like a big thing, like logistics. So yeah, yeah but don't... that can be a compromise. I think yeah. for some people, yeah. A hundred percent, especially if you feel like you're the one traveling yeah. most of the time. Mm, yeah, and it yeah. is mainly me, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think um, an ex of mine lived in Australia. Wow. So I'm thinking anything closer than that is going to be easy. It's like me. nothing. <laughs> Like I was like, how many times I was like, I wish she just lived it. I wish she just lived in France or something like in Paris. Yeah, just, I could go to her for like a weekend. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I was like, Australia, like you yeah. couldn't 
get further away from me no. if you tried. That's <laughs> so, so far. Yeah, yeah. It's so far. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.